So, today I'm going to show you guys a different way to export your SOLIDWORKS models into 3D via Composer. So what I have here is the Javelin office, all modeled up in a decent amount of detail. we got textures on the trees, um, we have bricks, we have concrete, we have asphalt. So what I want to say is when we usually, so I'd save this, and then if I were to open this up in 3D via Composer, I just paused it there so that you guys didn't have to watch it loading. You can see it brings in all the model. I have my my uh, feature tree, but I lose all my texture. So all, everything that has a texture just goes kind of bland. Everything that didn't, that had a color assigned to it, comes through though. But if I were to go back into 3D via, I mean into SolidWorks, and this time I'm going to File, Save As, and choose a uh, 3D XML. Name it whatever I want. I've already pre-saved this. And then from inside of 3D via Composer, if I were to open it up, just like I would any other, so go File, Open, Oops. find it on my computer. And choose Merge Files into one actor per part. I'll just cancel and then hit open. You can see it brings it in. I have all my textures on my parts. I even have the same file structure on my feature tree. Same parts drive down. I lose none of my uh, any features that I would from opening this up straight from SolidWorks, but I get to keep my textures too. So this was just a tip uh, using saving your SolidWorks models as 3D XML. Thank you.